بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین کوئکلی سیٹ اپ دا مانیٹرنگ سسٹم ان اینی کلاؤڈ اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور دا زیبکس اینڈ گرافانا کمبینیشن اینڈ وائی ایم چوزنگ دا زیبکس بیکاز زیبکس اینڈ گرافانا از ویری پاورفل کمبینیشن اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سیٹ اپ آل ان ڈاکر کنٹینرس so i've already created the scripts uh, if you navigate to uh, this url i've already made um, bash scripts so you don't have to do any configuration you have to simply run the script and uh, the scripts are with regard to the zabbix grafana amazon linux and zabbix grafana ubuntu so it is your choice and uh, i'm going to show you how you can quickly deploy the monitoring system all in docker containers and with regard to your specific setting you can set up that as well so i'm going to spin up a ubuntu machine for this tutorial uh, and let me launch that so i'm going to launch ubuntu 20 lts okay so i'm going to go for the t3 t3 a medium and i'm going to show you the ram and cpu utilization of this particular uh, deployment okay so rest of the setting are going to be settings are going to be default let's call this uh, zabbix grafana open to and okay create a new security group so I'm going to uh, set up this uh, in my lab environment and what I'm gonna do I'm going to simply uh, I mean go for my uh, local IPs and I'm going to open the HTTP port along with the TCP 3000 3000 port is going to be for Grafana so I can choose my IP as well for security in both cases you can use your VPN as well so I'm going to launch this and I'm going to use this key pair okay guys and um, now what i'm going to do i'm going to take a shell in that and i'm going to uh, run that particular script which i've uh, created for you guys so i'm going to simply copy this and i'm going to take a shell in that particular ec2 machine ubuntu machine let me navigate to desktop and ssh i um, and open to at at this ip simply copy this and okay yes so i'm going to be rude let me zoom in a bit for you guys so sudo hyphen i and i'm going to run this um, zabbix grafana ubuntu dot shell what it does it actually spin up containers and before that i'm going to show you the memory current memory and cpu utilization in that particular machine as well so i'm going to make it executable so current memory is free hyphen gh so this is the situation of the memory so what we have available 3.4 gigs and and the cpu we have up time of cpu load is at 15 minutes we have about almost no load so what i'm going to uh, do i'm going to simply run this script and what it does that it does um, it is going to set up the docker installation in ubuntu machine it is going to uh, it is going to create a custom network of Zabbix and it is going to pull the official images uh, provided by Zabbix. Uh, I mean Zabbix is uh, really cool in a way that they are continuously updating um, 
in fact every company has now um, set up their official setup with regard to the docker which they uh, continuously update so if i do zabbix docker hub you will see that uh, every official image is going to be uh, there and if you see the you see updated five minutes ago so that is really cool about them so instead of uh, you know nagios i would uh, highly recommend to go for the zabbix and grafana setup so uh, you don't have to do anything so it will set up all the stuff along with the grama grafana and i will show you the configuration as well so what i'm going to do simply run this uh, script so it is going to download uh, the docker as well and set up all the stuff for us so i will show you the memory and cpu utilization as well how much memory consumption and cpu it will take and it will spin up uh, what it does it will spin up uh, i guess four or five containers uh, container of uh, grafana along with a zabbix agent this agent is going to be uh, set up in this and i'm going to show you the configuration with regard to the agent as well so it is not going to be lengthy everything is uh, pretty much automated and if you want to make some changes you can do that as well so simply what i've done um, copy the script and run it and it is uh, doing the stuff with regard to the installation of uh, docker and let me comment some of the commands as well so uh, this should be commented okay and that's fine you can do that as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to update that as well in the comment section so you will not find any issues so let me update till then it's gonna do the stuff with regard to the pulling of images and let me pause the video till then so guys our setup is completed and let me show you the memory again as well so previous was this is 2.7 if i just scroll up it was 3.4 so it take about one or one and a half uh, gigs of memory so that is not that all bad let me show you the containers we have all these containers up and running and uh, let me now show you the configuration part as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to navigate to the ec2 section uh, simply uh, copy the ip of this particular uh, um, machine and the default username is admin and default username is zabbix z a double b i x so i'm going to simply sign in and let me show you uh, guys the part you see uh, zabbix server is up and running as far as the agent configuration is concerned you simply you have to simply navigate to the host click on the host and you will see one host and the availability of zabbix agent is currently in red and what uh, you have to do is to simply click here click the configuration section okay and simply you can add a linux server as well so from here i added the linux server so i'm going to simply remove this as it is in running containers so i'm going to click here dns and i'm going to say zabbix agent so um, the internal networking is already done so let me show you why i use the dns name zabbix agent so if you simply scroll down you will see the zabbix agent is going to be uh, the name of this uh, container so uh, internal dns is going to be configured and i'm going to simply update so it will take a while uh, this portion uh, turn into green so what you can do for quick setup so simply click here and click disable and then click on the enable section okay and do refresh so 
it will take about five minutes uh, to actually you know make it green so this agent will be auto detected so till then I'm going to simply refresh so all our uh, containers are up and running so let me refresh again as well you see currently it says 127.0.01 so we have actually updated it and if you just have to wait for a while uh, this is going to be changed and if you click it and update it again so it should be able to say that um, the big um, 1050 so you have to uh, wait for a while because uh, it will take some time till then what I'm going to do I'm going to open this in Grafana so I've already covered uh, install the Zabbix uh, sorry install the Zabbix uh, plugin in Grafana if you simply navigate to 3000 port you will see that uh, Grafana is going to be up and running so you have to wait for a while till then you see it is now green which means that uh, the Zabbix agent is available so if if you navigate to the monitoring section and click on the host you will see that um, uh, click on the dashboard you will see uh, one host is available Zabbix server is up and running so um, now I'm going to navigate to this Grafana section by default the user name is admin and password is admin and is going to ask for the new password you can skip that as well but I'm going to use the same password and username admin admin so you can make sure that you set up the strong password according to your need and um, although all is available on my ips as well so what i'm going to do uh, if i navigate to the settings navigate to the plugin section and you will see the zabbix plugin is going to be available because in scripts i've already installing that so i'm going to simply uh, enable it and if I navigate to the um, navigate to the settings uh, and I'm going to add the data source and data source is going to be the Zabbix uh, which is going to be available when you enable the plugin section you will see that Zabbix is going to be available so um, what settings you need simply I'm going to copy this uh, URL uh, so uh, what you have to do is to simply copy the IP address uh, copy the private IP address and make sure that uh, port 80 is available so I'm going to simply use this um, URL and I'm going to copy this so everything is provided in that particular uh, script so navigate to this section simply copy this and um, navigate to the username Zabbix APS so username is admin I have not changed it admin and password is Zabbix at a double B I X so save and tests so uh, it is currently saying that uh, we have a error so let me just um, remove this part I guess so it should uh, be only that uh, slash so it is working fine you see Zabbix API is this one so I will update update uh, this section as well so I have updated here um, in some cases uh, slash Zabbix is required but uh, if you're using my installation and that particular stuff so you have to simply go for this uh, URL so anyway these are the settings um, with regard to the Ubuntu and Grafana and what I'm going to do now um, everything is set up correctly I'm going to simply import one dashboard and it is going to be 5363 uh, these are the um, uh, actually click on load as well and these are the uh, 
dashboard is uh, dashboards which are pre-configured and available if you uh, search on google these are the um, custom made dashboards already available so i'm going to click here and i'm going to click zabbix uh, default and i'm going to click import um, after a while you will see that um, our data with regard to the um, zabbix uh, are going to be populated here so some of the um, statistics are not available and uh, these are going to be soon available so current memory utilization and cpu utilization you already seeing you see online and all that stuff so again you have to wait for a while because um, data is going to be available soon and populated other than that uh, it is the grafana part you can configure a lot more stuff in the latest uh, 5.4 i guess this is the latest one so everything is available available here you can configure that and you see the cpu and memory utilization let me again and go for the cpu uh, utilization and the memory utilization so uh, it is not all that um, much as far as the uh, configuration is concerned you see everything is set up in docker containers and it is going to be quickly available for you guys and there are a lot more configuration configuration you can do so i've already made videos in past with regard to the windows uh, windows based linux based setup agents if you have remote agents you can do that as well you can set up the uh, simple email service ses aws uh, with the Zabbix as well so you can watch these videos as well so that is it guys with regard to the settings and let me simply refresh it or change some statistics from here you will see some of the data are going to be uh, populated soon so uh, and you will see the Zabbix agent currently it is showing no data and as it will take some time so data is going to be uh, loaded soon so and you can configure grafana as well so i can't uh, provide all the settings in one video so you see number of processes are now are now showing and the zabbix agent will be available as well so change it to five minutes and try to refresh it so So this uh, this is the custom uh, dashboard Zabbix full server status. Uh, it is currently showing us the status of the Zabbix. With regard to the other settings, you can configure either on Zabbix or Grafana. You can configure your email and all other stuff, which is going to be available. So till then, I'm going to pause the video. I want to show you the status of this uh, Zabbix agent as well. So it will take about 5 to 10 minutes. So guys, after few minutes, all the stats are pretty much available. Uh, this is the Zabbix agent version. And um, these are the settings uh, which we are seeing. So some of the stats are, now, uh, are not coming because you have to configure those. But these are the basic stuff uh, you can easily set up. Uh, the Zabbix and Garafana combination along with that uh, you can simply click here and select the Linux server Zabbix server which we have actually selected from that so guys uh, if you like the video please like share and subscribe have a nice day thank you very much